Hello everybody, and today we are going to be doing a catch and cook. So we're going to do a catch and cook. We're going to White Hall and White Lake. As you've seen, maybe you've watched my dad's YouTube channel named Brad Goff. And there's a lot of fishing where he fishes. That's where we're going today. Hopefully have a good time. Oh, why does my bobble always get tangled? Well, at least this time it was easy because I gotta do this and then I gotta do that and then. Don't forget we're doing a catch and cook. Send one to the captain. What'd you catch there? First I, fish of the day. All right, looks like we caught a freshwater drum. I've never really caught one before. Archer's first catch. So he's got a species ahead of me now. But we're gonna go ahead and throw this guy back. My daddy caught a keeper. We caught a creeper. Got a first keeper got a in the keeper. bucket. So just to let you know, we're gonna do five days fishing. So today we've only caught in one fish. We're gonna clean him up. We're gonna clean him up and we're going to hope for better luck tomorrow. Yep. And for five days we'll see what we catch. Okay, hello everybody. It's another day and we're going to go crawfishing today because we made one yesterday. Crawfish trap because we made one yesterday. And then we're going to do that and we're going to fish. And then we're going to do one of the fish and put it in the crawfish trap. Then we're going to wait a day but before we do that we're in, we're also going to be fishing. So yeah. $7. All right, what'd you get? A uh, bluegill as it's flopping around. All right, is this going to be our bait for the crawfish uh, trap? Uh, yeah, probably. Right, Most we got, likely. We got bait for the crawfish trap. Most Good job. It's a chunky, guy. Is this big enough, Daddy? We're going to eat this one. We're going to eat this one for the fish fry. So, we're going to fillet this one up. Yep. And for the crawfish trap and then these two ah, and then these two this one well good and this one we're, we're throwing into the pond all right what you got there um this is the homemade crawfish trap we made that we were talking about and we bought a booby when we went on a vacation a couple days ago sorry we didn't put that on a youtube video video so we got an ankle so the buoy doesn't float away so we're gonna put this in one direction and then we're gonna put this in the other so the crawfish go I cannot get there's gonna be bait we're gonna put the fish guts in there going down behind grandpa and grandma's house through the little swamp area land bridge All right, you ready? Yeah. We got the buoy, we got an the anchor coming off of one end, fish bait in the crawfish trap, and we're gonna walk it out there. We're gonna go ahead and toss the anchor out. Good job. All right, now the crawfish trap, you can just set wherever. There you go. Cool, all right. Now we wait. One, two, three, I think we've gotten three. Yeah, we've got no four. We've gotten four keepers. And we're got one on. And we got one on. There's another bluegill. Gills for the fish fry. Oh, Is it a big one? Decent size. Is it a keeper? It's a keeper. Okay, now we got five keepers. Wow, we're just coming in and coming in. Not necessarily a keeper, but it's a bluegill. You got one? I don't know if it's a keeper or not, but it's definitely. Yeah, we'll take them and put them in the, the pond. How about that? Yep. 
All right, going out to check the trap for the first I time. Well, we didn't catch any so far yet. yet. Okay, today is another day. We're going to check the crawfish traps. So we have nothing on. There's no crawdads in this lake. There are. Watching. All right, it is Saturday, September 17th. And we are still catching and cooking. We have not caught enough fish this summer, or at least since uh, Jul our July weekend up north to have another fish cookout. Uh, so Archer and I are heading up to get some more fish for the fish fry. We already got fall colors on the trees. Whoop, whoop. Oh gosh. Whoop, whoop. Just got up to the boat here in Whitehall, White Lake. All right, we got out here. You all right? I got a big old mass of perch. So we just started getting into them. Yeah, this is the porch spot. Mm, all right, just got a big old bluegill. Not as big old then it looks. This is like one of the biggest, it's big fattest bluegill I've ever caught. It's bigger caught. than it looks. It is on camera. Yeah, boy. Yeah, definitely getting into some fish here. Archer's got this another big perch. Enough, right? This big enough? Let's see. This just is borderline. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep that one. All right. Getting into some big old jumbo perch, baby. Uh-huh. This thing's bigger than my whole hand, like two of my hands. This thing's almost bigger than my head. This thing's probably bigger than my head. Which one's thinks bigger, the one I got or, or that one? I don't. Uh, if I look at it, I think that one's bigger. You think? No, that's the bluegill. All right, so far. I think mine's bigger. Yep, that one's bigger than that one. Yeah, thank you. Oh, did me there. It's about. 11 inches. 11 and a half inches. <laughs> it's pretty big. Good job, bud. <laughs> What'd you get there? Oh. You got a perch? Did you only get a perch? Second, All by himself. Second fish in his whole life. Wow. I, I can't see it. Good one. job, Julian. I can't. I need to Oh, what'd you get? Get it in, get it in. Get it in. Get right here. All right. Just put it in the bucket. Good job, Julian. Wow. Got my nephew, Julian, and brother-in-law, Jake, here. All right, you've got, Archer's see, these are the Uncle pokies. Jake. Julian. Jake's the one who made Archer's gill oh. smash. Oh. There you go. Oh. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can touch it. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Are you two? Um, Here's yeah. fam. What's up, fam? Hi. I'm going to um, we're going to be frying up our summer's catch, finally. Look at these fillets. Here's one of one of the perch the archer just caught. Oh, okay. Pretty good size fillet for a perch. Yeah. We got a whole plate of them. Yeah. All right, so I'm using this Andy's fish breading yellow traditional seasoning. All right, outside <clears throat> we got the fish. Uh, mostly, you guys saw the videos. Mostly perch and panfish. We got some skinny fries and some onion rings, and we got the 
third generation or fourth generation cast iron skillet going here from the golf side. What's up? Going, looking good. Yep. This is gonna be like every joyful, mm -hmm. like emotion you can have mm -hmm. in one bite, in one bite, just one bite. Thanks, right. guys. Here it is. Wow, good mm. fish dinner. Good fish dinner. We've been waiting for so long for like a video like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fish and sauce. First reaction. Is mm. awesome. Mm. What do you the, got there? Fish sandwich? Yeah, just exactly like a um, McDonald's. If I ate um, mm -hmm. this in a McDonald's, Filet-O fish, I would not be able to tell the difference. Really good, really good. Get some. Hot. I will have to say the tartar sauce is off the chain. Do you want to know Should what? I made the tartar sauce. This mm. is so good. I'm probably gonna still taste it tomorrow. I mean, that's the best meal. We all have a roll in it, right? Mhm. Mm I agree. Oh my gosh. Mmm.